Did you see Creed three yet? I didn't see it yet. No, but oh. I, I've seen the pictures of him, and he's yoked. Like he is, he's a big guy. Clearly, the the work paid off. He's able to beat down a woman. Oh my god! <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> oh, yes, know. allegedly, of course. Disney flew into New York City on the Avengers plane and was <laughs> like, "Listen." We're going to make this disappear for you right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of, you know, white women getting hit, oh, uh, Jonathan Majors, oh, um, he was arrested this what, weekend. What you a know? segue. What a segue. <laughs> that might be the worst <laughs> of the it's, year. It's Women's History Month, it's all right? It's History still month, Women's right. History Month. We got a couple days left. Uh, shout out to all the women out there uh, listening and, and supporting us. Yeah, Jonathan Majors. Yeah, we um, didn't even know this man's name when, like a few weeks ago when we restarted uh, the podcast. You know, we were like, oh, what's that guy's name? He's in all these movies that are coming up. And now we haven't been able to, you know, ignore him. He's been everywhere. He, he was even on like the Army recruiting ads during yeah. March Madness that sure. they pulled after he was arrested for, you know, assaulting uh, a woman in, in New York City. Now, he was released. His lawyer did put out a statement saying that he's fully innocent. Yeah. Um, of, course. of course. I don't know. That's, I haven't heard anything in the past couple of days beyond his lawyer putting out that initial statement. The, the charges have not been dropped at, at this point. You know, this guy was on top of the world, man. Like, what do you make of this, bro? Like, were you I mean, shocked when you heard the news? He's, I, I was. He's still on top of the world, apparently, because, uh, you know, the news came out. I was really surprised. I was like, what? He just had a movie get $100 million the first week or something like that? Like, he's two got movies. all these. Ant-Man 2 yeah, and it, then Creed 3, like, exactly. two number one box all the Yeah, he's, he's, like, big time at this point. And like you said, I actually know his name for sure, like. Even though I watched Lovecraft County, I didn't know what his name was. Yeah. Um, and like the harder they fall. Yeah. Too, yeah. You know, he's, I, he's, he's got some stuff going on. And uh, that could be why we haven't heard too much after this. Mm. Um, you know, apparently it was him and a girlfriend or, or I don't think that his lawyer actually called this a girlfriend. Just said like it's a woman he was seeing or talking to or something like that. I'd be saying the same shit, bro. <laughs> Not even going. <call. laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So I, he, they said that you know he actually called the police mm. because he described it as oh she's having like an emotional or mental breakdown or something like that. Um, but when they showed up. She had, you know, uh, a, a, they called it a laceration by her ear because she got the shit smacked out of her. Um, they said she Damn. had like marks around her throat like she had been strangled. And, um, you know, they, they they detained him for it. And then he was right back out. Yeah. Did, did you see Creed 3 yet? I didn't see it yet, no. But oh. I, I've seen the pictures of him and he's yoked. Like he is, he's a big guy. Yeah. I also saw randomly, like right after I saw the headlines about this, I saw someone had done like his supposed workout from Creed Three. Oh shit. And it was an insane workout. <laughs> oh man. I can't did it include steroids? Because I, I don't know. They didn't mention the steroid <laughs> use, but there was a lot of push ups and uh, you know, chest workouts, bicep curls, a lot of trap workouts with shoulder shrugs. Okay. Like an obscene amount of shoulder shrugs. <laughs> um like literally 30 plus reps per set like Damn. it was an obscene amount but uh he looked good so uh clearly the the work paid off he's able to beat down a woman oh my god <laughs> allegedly <laughs> oh yes know. allegedly of course of but course. all i'm saying is he he big as fuck he wasn't always that big no he wasn't you he, know he was always definitely fit uh but it's good that he he you know beefed up a little bit with his his muscles because he's never been the most attractive guy but uh, no i mean did you see the last black man in san francisco he he's totally different from that movie that came out like what like 2019 yeah it's he, been i i remember watching that it's been so long though, I exactly think. i didn't even realize yeah. that was him like the same I, I, until i like thought back or yeah. heard like been reading about him yeah but yeah like when i when i heard this i was like damn man the harder they fall, man. That sucks, bro. Like hmm. he really got so big, and they were saying like 
they're going to build like the Marvel universe around. Did you see Ant Man? No, I haven't seen the most recent one. No. No, Troy, did you see the new Ant Man? No, I still haven't seen it yet. Damn, are you familiar with like his character and how it's going to like, you know, take be in the next few movies though? Yeah, for sure. He was in uh, the show Loki. Okay. At the end as well, kind of like a variant of whoever his character Kang is. So yeah, I'm familiar with how much of an impact he's supposed to have. Yeah. So like, is so was he? Is he like a big ass part in the next like? part of the universe because i haven't seen a lot of the recent ones yeah no he yeah. he literally has a movie called avengers the kang dynasty and it's like oh. his movie oh yeah yeah it, it, damn so they disney has has a lot on on this guy disney flew into new york city on the avengers plane and was <laughs> like listen we're gonna make this disappear for you right now oh man you, like <laughs> yeah it's crazy it's crazy. I don't know what we're going to hear from this uh, beyond this, but I, I will say like they said they were arguing about um, his girlfriend uh, supposedly seeing him text message another girl mm-hmm. and, you know, she you know confronted him about it. And then she said he attacked her afterwards in a cab car. Now, you know, that story sounds very familiar, like, and it gets kind of scary. Like I could, I, I've had arguments like that yeah. in the past and, yeah. You know, you got to know when to step away. And, you know, I don't want to come to any conclusions. I feel like the fact that he was arrested and that she did have marks on her, that there was some type of, you know, physical altercation. Even if she started it, he's a big ass guy, you know, and I, yeah, I I don't know. I I feel like we don't know enough to make it, you know, a judgment on it, but I would say it's not a good look. And, you know, hearing the story, it's just like, yeah, I could I could see something happening where, you know, his big ass could have probably, you know, put his hands on her and it's, hurt her. It's not a good look. Um, I wonder if that if if it happened initially in a taxi, a lot of taxis in New York now have those cameras. Yeah. Where I, you can see the the exterior like in front just in case there's an accident and then also the inside. In case there's some crazy confrontation with the passengers between the taxi driver, the, the passengers themselves, that sort of thing. So um, I would love to see if further information footage is going to come out because um, Disney is probably going to try to bury this stuff. Like they, if they viewed him as someone that they could possibly really build the next few movies around. It's not looking great. It's just not looking great. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, when when you get pulled from the from ads from the army, you if you offend the army yeah, of all people, you, you that's know a low bar. <laughs> that's a low bar. And if you cannot get above that bar, that's pretty uh, that's pretty suspect. But there have been rumors that he's had like some physical confrontations with people before and stuff mm. like that. This is not this is not new stuff. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to tell. I feel like a lot of actors and and creative people, you know, do have a little crazy side to them. And I'm not saying he was taking steroids, but this sounds like a little bit of a, you know, roid rage, if if you ask me. Um, But hey, hopefully they clear it all up. Hopefully he's able to stay out of trouble. Uh, If he's innocent, hopefully, you know, we're able to get clarity because I I don't know, man. I don't know if people are going to feel okay seeing him you know beat spider-man's ass knowing that you know he he has this charge on him i I don't know i mean listen i will say that uh for his point of view it's probably a good thing they didn't say the name it always makes it worse when you can match a name and a face with like whoever the victim is Mm. um if it continues to be like oh nobody knows who it happened to and and things like that um it only helps his case and helps the ability for this to disappear for him and for Marvel and, and Disney and whoever else is involved in, in the potential money that is involved, like he's tied up in. So we'll see. Uh, it's still really early. Usually when stuff like this happens, the first couple of days, it's a bunch of information. And then there is a little bit of a lull for a few weeks. So I, I expect more in April. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. It's crazy because the Ezra Miller stuff uh, on the DC side with the Flash and the Flash, uh, the next Flash movie is going to like pretty much determine the rest of the DC universe. 
So they have been pushing that back since he got in his trouble. Mm -hmm. um, been doing crazy shit, like punching people at bars and breaking into houses and kidnapping people. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, they didn't shelve that movie, but they did cancel Batgirl. Um, <laughs> but I guess Batgirl didn't really wasn't involved in the future movies the way, you know, the flash was. So it, it's crazy how people kind of get, um, you know, preferential treatment based upon, you know, how much these companies have invested in them. But, you know, things get crazy. When, when I first heard this story, you know, it reminded me of the story of, you know, Chris Brown and Rihanna back in the day coming, mm -hmm. you know, going to the Grammys, you know, her reaching for his phone and them getting getting into that crazy physical altercation yeah. that really changed, you know, Trace both it. of their lives yeah. forever. I mean, they're both able to, you know, become, you know, recover from that and yeah. still continue their careers and overcome that. And which is rare. Yeah. Which is definitely yeah. rare for something like that to happen. And then both people to make it on and continue with their careers. Yeah. I mean, they're both extremely talented too. That's true. You know, absolutely. But, Subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, follow on Instagram, of Twitter, TikTok, like all the apps, all the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs>